Anthony Ferraro, and Mancina, two blind guys collide to bring you Four Bad Eyes Podcast. Welcome back. Oh, we're going. Oh. <laughs> Four Bad Eyes All in right. the building. Well, uh, we are in our hotel room in St. Pete's. Florida, baby. We're deep in the south. About as, not as far south as you can go, but it's, Florida's not really south. We're going to go to the Everglades. It's its own, uh, it's, its own world. It's been a, a very interesting experience so thus far in Florida. We've been here for, what, a day? First, <laughs> first 12 hours was real doozy. Um, do you want to take that off? Let's start that off? Yeah. Now? First twelve hours in Florida, uh, we well. First, I think we should say that we're recording from the uh, hotel room. That's Anthony funny. brought all the the travel kit. We brought a podcast studio in a suitcase. It's sick. It sounds high. I'm hyped on it. Ooh, yeah. it sounds good. So hopefully we are sounding crispy. Ooh. Okay. But yeah, first twelve hours in Florida, uh, we got told to go fuck ourselves <laughs> um, by the super drunk dude. We know, first though, oh, yeah. first we're driving. Well, I, we're not driving, Kelly's driving. There's two guys in the back, like passenger seat in the back seat. <laughs> Windows are all down. And then this car is behind us. Kelly's driving like kind of slow because we're in Florida, just in the rental car. And she, you know, just trying to cruise along. And all of a sudden she makes the turn and this guy cruises <laughs> by and just yells, Learn how to drive that fucking thing. <laughs> so we're like, whoa, all right, okay, Florida. But yeah, it started, thank you, welcome to Florida. And <laughs> we go get some grub, go hit the skate park, come back from the skate park. We're it's walking nighttime. In, walking in the hotel, and the super drunk dude's like going to get in the passenger car, in the passenger seat. He's like, you guys blind skateboarders? Or you guys skate blind? And then Anthony's like, what you I was like, oh man, I wish it wasn't true. Like, I wish it weren't. But like, funny yeah. in my yeah, head, I was just like trying to make him laugh. In my head, I was like, oh, that's a good one for that. And then he's like, <laughs> he's like, uh, he's like, you don't have to be such an asshole. And I literally stopped. I was like, yo, I'm trying to like laugh with you, like trying to make him realize that like I'm not, nothing's malicious, and I'm not trying to be an asshole. And he just goes. All right, douchebag, you don't want to be such a... Like, he just starts, like, cursing me off. Yeah. And then he tells my wife to go fuck herself. And I was like, yo, Jeez. like, chill, bro. Don't... He's like, don't... Why are you saying that to a lady? What are you doing? And he's like, go fuck yourself. <laughs> go back to Seattle, you liberals. <laughs> At that point, I'm like, all right, dude, I'm going to Florida. We got to go home. We got to go home. Dan was, was really fussed. Flustered. He was so shook. I felt really. I was, was like, it, the guy made me like. I walked away from that situation confused. like so confused. I was like, he made me second guess. I was like, did I do something wrong? Like I, I tried to tell him. I was like trying to make him yeah. laugh and like, and it just. I was like, what did I? I was going through my head trying to figure out what I did wrong in that situation. Yeah, but then Kelly's like, no, he was like stumbling, like hammered. hammered. So, but, did I good GoPro beep? I thought I heard the GoPro beep. No. I think we're Are good. Are we good, Cal? Yeah. Mm -hmm. We're good. Okay, yeah, we're good in the studio. Um, but, yeah, dude, that was that was an intense... <laughs> yeah, that made me feel weird, dude. I was like, what is going on? Uh, it's a good lesson to everything in moderation, folks. Yeah. <laughs> that guy had too much alcohol, and that's... That was yesterday, and then today we're leaving the CVS, and we're <laughs> driving down the street, and Kelly's like... What is going on? What is going on? And then you just hear out the window. Like, oh, like help, help! And and, and then just she's like, fist connecting she's with like, face. That guy was just hitting that dude. <laughs> and she, we're like, what? Do, what do you mean? <laughs> like, she would go back and we turn around. She's like, yeah, there was like a guy in a motor, like a little cheap motorcycle, motorcycle thing. <clears throat> and then the guy like came out of his car. It was a young guy in a motorcycle and like an older guy in a car. Old dude motorcycle. Yeah, yeah. Younger dude, yeah, came out and I. What we think happened is the, yeah, the dude in the bike hit the car and he was trying to take off. And the other guy was like trying to do a, a citizen's arrest or something on him. Dude. And they were just going at it, dude. And as we're driving by, all we hear is, somebody help, somebody yeah. help. I'm like, like my like, you know, conscious kicks in. I'm like, dude, yeah. we can't leave. Like, what's going on? So we drive around the block 
and Kelly starts like leaning, leaning on, on the, the horn, horn like to cause attention and everyone starts looking over and like the guys try to get up and stuff like they were she explained that they were on the ground at this point like fighting like just doing like jujitsu <laughs> <laughs> and they, it seemed like they were a little messed up. Like and then they, Kelly, Kelly was like, no, there's some guy there trying to help, and he just waved us off like it's not worth it, kind of. Yeah, <laughs> like, like get just, out of here. I don't it's know what's good. going on here. So, and Florida, then, baby. And then we tried to go to the beach. Uh, <laughs> so we're like 20, 30 minutes away from like a real beach, and we Kelly found this like a, it was like a, was it a, a little beach, like a bluff nearby. <laughs> it's called Prayer Bluff or something. We, we go to the bluff, and Delta's all excited, the pup, she's excited to go run around. We get there, and it's, it, there's no sand either, it's like just all grass and then water. And, <laughs> and you go down, we got out of the car and start walking down to the shore, like lying to the water. And all of a sudden, there's this gnar, so first Kelly reads the sign, and it's like, uh, wa jump, or water access is not recommended due to water, uh, rain runoff. And I was like, okay, like, you know, it doesn't seem bad here, though. And then we get a little closer, and I start smelling, like, this foul, like, sewer <laughs> smell, dude. It was so bad. And we actually had literally got to the point where we had to turn around and go back to the car. I heard you. For, I was chilling in the car. I was like, I'm not a beach dude. <laughs> it's and, a freshwater uh, fish. Gosh, well, I like beach a little. Yeah, I don't like sand. But I, I heard you guys walking back, and I was hearing like, oh, I didn't. Yeah, I can still smell it. I can still smell it. I'm like, what is going on? Is is Florida? How are you not a dude? beach dude? Florida. Beach, I, man. I'm not, I'm not like sand, dude. I'm not down with the sand. That's so like foreign to me because I grew up in it. The oceans and I like. I grew up with like no shoes on and like just running around. Well, at I the never beach. had shoes on yet, dude. Uh, you know, but just that. I don't know, man. Beach. Too much sand in my ears. <laughs> Ocean, we used to, salty, dude. We used to dig feels? holes and then like bury each other like up to your like shoulders. <laughs> You then you like, do the shake and bake. But you feel like all s salty too when you get out. You got a shower afterwards. Yeah, I got really lucky. The the beaches that I grew up at had these like little showers on the boardwalk yeah, so you can rinse nice. off. I yeah, keep it to the lakes, dude. Yeah. I remember the first time I ever uh, went surfing in the ocean. I <laughs> I went with my brother John. He's a really good surfer. He takes me out in the ocean. I'm. I'm sitting out there on the board and waiting for the wave. I take the wave, my first wave ever in my life. I stand up. Like, I think I'm Kelly Slater now. Like, I'm first cruising down the beach, like, on this wave. Just act, not down the beach, like, going straight onto the shore. <laughs> and the way, the way waves go. No, but when you surf, you want to cruise down the beach, like, oh, you along on the, the side angle, of the right, wave. Yeah, right, yeah. Right, yeah. So I didn't do that. I went straight, and, like, oh, I didn't yeah. know at the end that you're supposed to jump off. <laughs> So, You're taking the I, dude, I was going so fast in this wave. So the way they were breaking, there wasn't like much after the whitewash. Like it hit the the wave would break out and then you're basically at the shore. Mm -hmm. So I rode all the way in, and then all of a sudden, I literally I'm going so fast the the uh, fins dig into you the hit sand. The sand and we dude, got hooked. I went face first into the sand. I had like shells on my face and shit, dude. It was so gnarly. Did you scorpion? Did your feet come I, over your head? <laughs> I, I think I like belly flop, but face first, like oh into the sand. God. It was... That's uh, hilarious. That I, been the most I'll never forget it. And I, I, was like, I was like, dude, I'm famous. I'm a pro surfer now. Like, <laughs> stood up on my first wave ever. <laughs> Surfing's hard. Long board, dude? Foam board? No, it's a real board because it was his board. What kind? Know. A long board, though? Uh, definitely a thicker board, yeah. Like longer? Yeah, longer yeah, okay. board, yeah. I was going to say, you stood up first trying like no, a short board. No, no, board, no, no, not like. a short board. I spent two hours trying to stand up on a short board. I couldn't do it. How old were you? Quad fin, 5'6". <laughs> That's small. <clears throat> I think it was like five, right? I Maybe won't. Maybe six. I won't go anything less than like... It actually, it was probably six something. Yeah, it had to be. Like yeah, six, I won't six, go anything less than like 6'6". Six, six. <laughs> Yeah, I think it was 6'6". Six, 6'6 six. Six, six quad fin, bro. Yeah, bro, quad fin. Those boards look so sick with the cool tails on the end. Yeah, the, some of the fish tails, some of the squad. Surfboards do have just such a cool look to them, dude. They're sick. I want it, one on my wall. <laughs> you know, it's so cool. Dude, I know. Just to be a poser, though. A surfboard. <laughs> we in Michigan. No, they are art, though. <clears throat> There's this sick guy in Australia. He does, uh, it's really cool. He does it. Shout out to Ozzy Wang. Is it? Ozzy Wong. Kelly, what's his name? Ozzy Wong, I think. Ozzy Wong, yeah. 
Ozzy Wrong or something. Can't but go wrong he's, with the long, dude. He's the man, dude. He makes this crazy art on these surfboards, mm -hmm. like, and just sells them as wall art. Mm -hmm. well, and he does people's surf, like surfboards custom yeah, too. Yeah, yeah. But it's sick. People are getting crazy. Didn't somebody do like a McTwist on a surfboard? I dude, think? There's guys doing kickflips on a surfboard. It's insane. I remember when I worked at the, at the surf shop, Volcom, was must have been like 2008-ish or something, Volcom had a contest, like five grand for the first kickflip. I remember somebody did it. No way. I remember watching it. Yeah, it was crazy. That's Super nuts. Super mob, just like kick straight down. Imagine landing that and being like, I just made five yeah. grand off that <laughs> trick. They're probably getting crazy. Speaking of landing tricks, dude, uh, how are you feeling for this contest? Oh, yeah, we, we got the contest. We got this contest coming two up. Two days. And we have been... Basically at the park a bunch the past couple of days. Feeling all right. We'll see. Just having fun today. It was hectic. There was a lot of people oh, at one point. It was... Each day got more and more crowded, and today was just like everyone's there now warming up. I... Dude, there's parents down there yelling at their kid. Like it's insane. I didn't like realize this dads. about skateboarding. Sport dads. I, sport. I grew up in like grappling and wrestling and judo and, or wrestling mostly growing up in that and those parents were insane i didn't think any other parents were like that yeah. like th these skate parents their kids are like rolling their ankle really bad like eight-year-olds you know and you're yeah. just like get up you good right? yeah you're good one kid, kid like, was like crying there today and his dad's like stop what did he tell him like stop crying and yeah no yesterday too i was like get tearing up. up last night dude. dude that guy was going hard on his son just line after line making them skate and i'm just like Jeez, these kids are like eight, nine years old. Hashtag skateboarding is fun, dude. Hashtag contest skating is what that is. Dude. Yeah, but it's cool learning a whole new like style to that, like trying to put a line together and stuff. Mm -hmm. But it, I noticed today. <clears throat> put my lines in the streets, dude. I didn't really notice this. Shut up. I didn't really notice this until today, but. Being at the skate park, because we were there when there was, like, nobody at first. And then, like, it gradually got more and more crowded each time. And after, when there was, like, no one there today, earlier, I felt so in the zone. I felt so, like, calm. <laughs> you were killing this I morning. just, like, I felt unstoppable. And then, <laughs> yeah. But no, when... Sorry, at the contest, yeah. At the contest, or no, at the, or the, at the park when we were warming up. When we got back there tonight, it, it was, like, pretty hectic. But we were off to the side on that ledge, so like I felt all right, and we were kind of in our own space. Mm -hmm. But then when we went on the flat bar, it was like in the middle of a lot of people's runs, mm -hmm. and I felt so exhausted. Like it wore me out mentally just so quickly trying to find. You lose your bearings so much quicker, like where you are in the park and oh, things yeah. like, like that. But then, like, if your board goes rolling off, you can't just like go chase it. That has been <laughs> the biggest challenge for me here today, like this trip, because the concrete so smooth and when your board rolls away it's so quiet that you have Don't no idea where it even went and you're just waving your cane around and the whole park is set up so it's like there's hills everywhere everything's good. everything is hills but the one dude said it's the at, when it got built it was the biggest park in florida i believe that it's a pretty big, big park it's yeah, really big. cool because there's a full-size pool there's and then there's a full park section snake run and then there's and then that the other section, section like where the round, where the flat board is, there's a whole nother section where I was cruising into, and that's mm -hmm. like all transition over there. Yeah, the pyramid and all that. Yeah, like that, yeah. the hips and pyramid. Yeah. yeah. It's cool. So it's a good, it's actually a good park for, it's decent for, for adaptive, like, yeah. At least for my style. Of like, yeah, it's good flat bar, good leg. Little short, not long enough quite, but. I feel like we'll always have that good. problem. I'll be able to put something together. So just trying to make top five, dude. Top five. Guaranteed uh, to make top five. There's only four of us. <laughs> yeah, Dan was like, I just want to make top five. There's going to be four of us. Yeah, like, well, but there's, maybe there'll be some. We'll oh, man. No, Better no. show up. Come on out, dude. All adaptive skaters. Amputee. WCMX. Come shred. Blind. Blind. Be more blind. Everyone. Yeah. But. You could talk about the Brand Life Series yeah, it's all through the oh, yeah. Grind for Life series. Shout out to Mike Rogers. Mm -hmm. Just making it all happen. They, you know, donate a lot of the money they make from these contests to... They hold a series of contests throughout the year. And it's basically... It reminds me of, like, Paralympics, kind of, because you're, like, racking up these points throughout the year for your ranking, yeah. you know? And 
some people get invited, right, to like do tour and stuff and like mm -hmm. X Games Adaptive, right? Mm -hmm. So like by going to these turns. So there's what's really cool about the Grind for Life. It's there's regular divisions and then there's a whole adaptive division. Yeah. So like any you know modifications needed the adaptive division. It's awesome. Yeah, they've been like the like the forefront. Like, I think they're like the, they are like the first like full like contest series for adaptive. You know. It's really cool to see X like, Games. I all these people. X Games, but yeah. It it's last uh, couple months ago was my first contest, and it was with Grind for Life. And dude, the experience is just epic. Like even if you don't do well and like you know you could have done better, it's like the stoke, the people like cheering and just yeah, it's sick. Like they'll cheer for you doing a kick turn, you know. Mm -hmm. it, it like just it makes you feel good. It is a good feeling. Except when that, as soon as they say, you run, star, whatever you're ready. <laughs> oh, you're whatever like, you're ready, Dan. Oh, boy. Right Come the nerves, dude. Those legs just start to feel like jello. Yeah, but. I don't know. You were putting lines together today, killing it. Good yeah, it was lines. fun. It was fun. I was trying to, I didn't realize, I never done it too much, uh, like, ollieing up things when you're blind, like when there's a. Mm -hmm. Curb or leg. Yeah, you're, you're not, you're not ollieing on the side, you know. You're trying to ollie on it straight on. Mm -hmm. it, I hit my nose a couple times on the board, and I just like go forward. Is that what happened when you? Yes. Clipped and. Oh, I clipped it so bad. Took three steps and just hit. So it. I was doing ollies. I was doing this line where I would do an ollie up this, like down bank. I guess what would you call that? It's like a down mani pad. Yeah. Yeah, down mani pad. Like curb high, and then it goes down like a probably a. Uh, 15 foot bank. Yeah, exactly. And drops off a curve again. So I was doing, I was ollieing up that, riding down, ollieing off, and board sliding the round rail. And I was trying to get the timing right for, you know, how to tap my cane on the, <laughs> on the mani pad. And I was, I was going, going, I did it a couple times, like really nice. And then one time I like missed, you know, judged it wrong. And I nailed, I, you know what actually happened? My back truck's caught on though. Oh, you, oh, oh yeah. Okay. And I started, literally if I fell the way I was gonna fall, I would've went from top to flat mm -hmm. and like on my shoulder. And what I did was I did this like ballerina move where I like, I like tap danced like three steps down this thing and then just tumble. The dude, Mike, what up Michael? Shout out. Yeah. At the park and that's what we were leaving and I was talking to him, I was like, dude, yeah, Anthony ate it. Dude. He like, clipped at the top and did like three little steps and then just slammed. When, when I fell, these guys, they were like, that was a savage fall. <laughs> like, they were like, I don't know how you skilled that like that. I think I heard you. I think I heard you over there. I was like, yeah. I thought you ran in, you guys ran into each other. No, dude, it was intense. I always, that's when I break the most canes is alling up something like that. Yeah. Because my nose and my board will literally like, and just catch my cane on the ledge and just snap the bottom <sighs> right off. Good That's a great sound. Oh, I hate it. Oh. So I get a new cane, then I walk around with a floppy cane until I get a new cane. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, one time my cane broke, dude. I see. At least at the skate park, you usually have backups, right? Mm-hmm. Which oh, I need to bring that to my because we haven't been bringing our bag. It's a little hectic there. Yeah, I um. What did I do? Oh, I was at this concert in Madison Square Garden. And I had my cane, I'm going on, and it's like really hectic. And the guys are like, security's like pushing people through like the, what are those called? Turnstiles and things that like, yeah, yeah. so yeah. people, the subway yeah, yeah, so they're pushing you through that. And then there's another security guard like pushing you through. And the guy pushed me like into the stair stairwell, like into the um, railing. Mm -hmm. And my cane got caught and just snapped. And it was like just yeah. flopped over. Like going in. Yeah, and he's like, oh, there's nothing I could do. And just like kept pushing me and then it got lost in the crowd. My buddy had to fix it with a sticker because I literally felt like paralyzed with no it's cane. It's so weird. When you're in a big crowded place like that with no cane, it, I don't a know sketch. about you, I feel literally like. That's I, like my worst fear is like move. breaking a cane like I don't. Because there's not. Like we were talking about before, there's not a shop you can just go to and get a new cane. <laughs> I was telling you, dude. I broke a cane and, or no, my cane got stolen in Peru. Dang, something. <laughs> yeah, so we were, me and Kelly were taking a picture. Talk about hard, hard to come by a cane there. I'm sure. Me and Kelly were taking a picture, and they sell like, uh, you know, there's everyone selling stuff on the street and stuff mm -hmm. like walking sticks. So just I think the they just day. grabbed it. Got like, a cane. Yeah, a cane. Like, 
Like, yo, you use this to hike. Like, you're selling as a walking stick, <laughs> yeah, right. trekking pole. Right. And we take the picture and we, like, walk a couple, uh, five minutes or not five minutes literally like a minute after that and i'm like oh wait my cane and like we run back the cane is gone Jeez. start asking like the street vendors if anyone saw like anyone take it no one was fessing up to it so Caneless. someone got a cane and then i'm st dude i'm in another country no cane this is when i learned about spare cane <laughs> and i i'm in cusco peru and I'm like looking for a cane. We were looking online and stuff, and like find like something that said cane store. I'm like, oh, sick! Like it was like a, a disability or like rehabilitation store or something. Mm -hmm. And get there, I'm so pumped. I'm like, about to get a cane. It's all walk. It's all like, yeah, uh, walkers. yeah like walkers and canes. And I was like, oh no, dude. With with tennis balls in the bottom. So, so Kelly, like, I heard like, I I was like so nervous to go into the airport without a cane because they i'm like dude they're not gonna believe i'm blind like mm -hmm. it's gonna be such a fiasco so i put like head or i put sunglasses on and try and make myself look, look like more, more blind. blind like stereo the only time you're trying to look more yeah, blind. yeah just like had a vest on an orange vest <laughs> it's bad. blind flyer don't pat me i'm working <laughs> dance shirt line dude I, have, I used to see a lot of people walking in the airport. It's like, I, I remember seeing like a guy who's like holding like his wife's backpack. He's like walking behind her. Yeah. Some people don't rock the cane, you know? Yeah, yeah. It's just, some people are super... Trying to look more blind. You're just like shaking your head like, like Stevie out there. I, my mom used to say to me so... <laughs> yeah, no. My mom used to say to me so much. Like, don't forget your cane. Like, or use your cane. Use your cane. Especially when I was younger and I never did it, you know? I was mm -hmm. like, no. Like, screw that. And... The second I started using it, if it was like freedom. Like, independence. I was, the, the independence was like unreal. Freedom of travel. It, it's crazy. It's like your your cane is your set it of does. eyes. Yeah. yeah, you're feeling the ground, like you're using your hands on the ground, you know? But like, I don't know, releasing that like, I don't even know what it is. Self-conscious like, feeling of having it? Like, yeah, just, just releasing that like control of, you know, I guess I need this. They're like giving that up you know mm -hmm. and like i am different i guess you know just embracing that it's like yeah. it's hard to lean into that at first especially now you're rocking now you bring three canes now right? i do i got three canes i think i might have four yeah yeah three yeah two skate one yeah and one 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 walking stick <laughs> so what are you using marshmallow tip tomorrow or in the contest saturday yeah i think so oh uh, Bish justin bishop Justin Bishop, he's going to be in it. We're going to get a... There's going to be three blind skaters. It's three blind mice. Not, that, not <laughs> um, pretty rare to have three blind skaters at the same time. Yeah, it's actually going to be sick. We're going to be running into each other. Oh, I hope not, dude. I'm not skating if it's... If it's uh, what is it called? A jam sesh? A session? jam sesh, dude. You better get jamming, bro. I'm, okay. I'm get bringing smoked. my guitar. <laughs> uh, I thought you said it was jam sesh, man. Yeah, it's jam sesh. <laughs> there's be some Floridians out here jamming, dude. Yeah, there's some sick music from Florida. Who? Two Chains? Yeah. Is he from Florida? That's a total guess. No, I started. I, there's some sick. Hit I, I don't know why I thought the Allen Brothers were from Florida for a second. There's gotta be from so Georgia. many people. From Florida. There's so many good musicians from yeah. Florida. It's got that little South soul. No, it's crazy. A lot of country I, singers, I know that. Dude, I love Florida. It was that experience, the first getting here was very intense. I I do actually love coming. I, mean, I love it. Spring I, break and the stuff. weather, the That's people crazy. are cool. Like most, like mostly, you know. If there's listen, there's assholes everywhere. So. Yeah, it's been ninety eight percent good people. Ninety nine percent. Definitely. We met a lot of dope people. Um, shout out to Kent, dude. What was the place? Oh, uh, Nash <laughs> Nashville, Nash Nashville Hot. Or Anthony, Nashville Chicken. Chicken. Anthony's TikTok fan was hyped. Dude, YouTube fan, actually. Oh, you did he say YouTube? Yeah, he said oh, YouTube. Oh, sick. Yeah. I know. But, he was the man. Yeah, we did meet a lot of, a lot of cool people, dude. It was. But, yeah, man. I'm, uh, just freaking stoked, dude. Not nervous yet, though. 
I'm not feeling nervous yet either. I don't but get nervous literally until they're like, whenever you're ready, Dan. I feel like a little anxious. A little anxious. But like also, I'm ex really excited. I'm not in that. I'm not in deep enough in the contest scene where mm -hmm. I feel that pressure, because I always get to that no matter what I'm doing. And like with judo, when I first started, it was all balls to the wall. Like, n like you can only go up from here. Mm -hmm. You know, so it was like I can get beat all. I like I can try everything. I can get beat all the time, mm -hmm. and it's still I'm still growing because I'm so young at the sport. But you're still doing that, right? And that's where I am in skateboarding. <laughs> so it's like, what judo? Just getting beat all the time. Yeah, no. I uh, no, and that's no. Believe it or not, that's when I did the best. Like I did, I do oh, better I when I have that careless. Yeah. Not careless, but it's like, you know, what's the worst thing that happens is I lose, uh -huh. and when I less nerves yeah. it's no it's a big problem though that I have with every thing I do like even guitar judo wrestling like skateboarding at first it's like you know like that and then I start analyzing myself too much when it when it comes like when I start getting better at things work, yeah. I yeah. I get so like I overanalyze myself mm -hmm. I'm such a perfectionist I want to like be the best and not even in a, com in a competitive sense i just want to master that yeah. like skill and then you get caught up in that a little bit yeah definitely it's definitely like a well, it's, it, it's like a blessing like and get, a curse you get like more bummed like probably get more bummed when you lose like harder on yourself i'm just so hard on myself more pressure because i'm like you it, like you put so much time into this and mm -hmm. there's all these people that have even invested time into you that's another thing i like yeah. really struggle with is the team behind you just letting people down team usa behind you bro but i i said it in my documentary it's like at the end of the day like he was interviewing me you know after the whole fact of like wrestling every after everything was over and it was like you know I was like, well, you know, I thought I, like, let all these people down or, like, didn't do exactly what I wanted to do, whatever. And it was, like, you know, all these sour thoughts. And then a year later, I was like, dude, you did awesome. Like, looking mm -hmm. back, it's like, because you, you're so you caught up in it yeah, that you yeah. don't realize the progress until you can step yeah, back. Yeah, I know that feeling, yeah. And I think that's really important to, like, be able to reflect on. Is that perspective that only comes with time, yeah. Yeah, it's true. And I think... Uh, Wisdom. I, I definitely try and like remember those things when I'm doing judo now because I learned a lot of lessons in wrestling about mm -hmm. just you know not letting it be life or death. It's be like, your opponent, not yourself. <laughs> is that a quote? I don't know, but my my <laughs> thing is Anthony. I'm opening a gym that's gonna be on the wall. Dude. My my wrestling coach's quote is <laughs> Anthony Ferraro is his biggest his worst enemy. Yeah. Like a uh, big yourself. biggest opponent. Yeah. It's crazy. Oh, baby. We're going to do some wrestling in this hotel room. Oh, yeah. We're going to do a wrestling video. Wrestling. <laughs> what is it? I'm going to do the first one to tap out. Yeah, how fast. Oh, it should be It should be how fast can Anthony tap Dan. should be the name. <laughs> I'm going to make it at least 30 seconds, too. That's what you Dude. As long as you don't sweep we my head. We grappled at your you house. Sweep and my head. But as long as you don't sweep my head into a corner of a table, dude. Oh. Speaking of heads in the corner of the table, <laughs> I was, it was freezing cold. I had this amazing night the other night. I went out to dinner with, I thought it was just going to be my um, brother and his wife and then their kids. And it ended up like we met at the pizza place just down the street from my apartment. And it ended up being like all my family ended up getting together, right? Like mm -hmm. we all just like mobbed out this like, uh, pizza's place. That's the best. Dude. I know it was yeah, awesome. Yeah. All the kids, like my all my nieces and nephews were there, mm -hmm. and then all my immediate family. Right on the pizza joint. Yeah, it was amazing. And then we went to the bookstore next door and like asked them if they had braille books. Obviously not. Mm -hmm. it sucks. No braille menu. Yeah. No braille menu at the restaurants. But that's okay. Um, and I was just like, uh, like super good night, right? And then it's freezing out, like twenty degrees go start like running back to my apartment kelly's like talking to my family before they leave on like on the street and i'm like i gotta go i'm like literally so cold i don't even yeah, have a jacket I know, on i know how you get when you get yeah <laughs> yeah i was in that moment like i was oh like my. so cold and i just i hate it dude i hate that feeling and i was running home 
cane whipping back and forth, right? I know my like path. It's only a, literally one block, mm -hmm. and I know exactly. I've done this path a million times. Booking it, I crossed. My parents just roll by me in the car. I'm crossing the street, and they're like, "See you." I'm like, "Bye." And then Kelly's like rolling up behind me, like kind of running up, and she's almost caught up to me, and then. So I'm, I cross the street, I'm about to get on the sidewalk, and I know, I'm like, dude, I'm almost home. And whack! My freaking cane missed the pole because I was going back and forth so mm -hmm. fast. And by the time it hit it, my head was literally split open. Oh, no. So I, no, I hit not the pole, the corner of the, the sign, sign. Oh. like the stop sign. I hit it on my eyebrow, and all of a sudden I'm like, oh man, that wasn't good, but I don't think I hit it that bad. And I like, Put my hand, it's so cold, so I can't feel anything. I put my hand on my uh, eyebrow, and it just split so deep, and it's gushing oh. blood like into my eye. And I was like, Oh, are you freaking kidding me? Kelly, you? see it? Yeah, no, she saw, like, she heard the bang. Oh. <laughs> like, it was the so calm, bad, the dude. Oh. It, like, she thought I got a concussion. I think I might have. What did was, the sign say? Dude, dude. <laughs> she says, Stop, dude. <laughs> Got smoked. You Dude, got it was really. Stop I was so mad. I remember I was heated. I got home. I like yeah. I was like I, I'm so mad. Like I was just like I'm so mad. Like it was such. And then it, it like almost robbed me of that joy. And I had to remember. Like I just had an awesome night. But. Dude, that was, that I was up. so pissed. Kelly at first had to put like three band-aids, like crisscrossed, and like there was like skin from my. Uh, like <laughs> under my eyebrow, like hanging up, uh, uh, like under my eyelid. Oh, it was gnarly. Too. It was not a good one. I was not stoked. I had a sign just like that, same thing. I remember. Top of my head. I was no, but uh, real quick, I remember saying in the bath, like in the bathroom when I'm trying to clean it. I'm like, I could skateboard. I could like wrestle. I could do all these things. And, like, like I, I could be blind and do these things. and don't care. But I can't. Can walk down the street and not get hit by the sun, dude. I was so frustrated, you know. That's why I go slow, dude. dude. A little snail. Out I there. know. I, I always give Dan shit for walking really I slow. I know that that uh that move though when you're moving fast. What did you do? Quick. You hit a sign. No, I said the same thing at the top of my head. Oh. But it was like a sign on a light pole sticking out. Yeah. Yeah. I... Oh, that was before I had a cane. <laughs> I, I even in like Tokyo one time I was in the hotel room before a tournament <laughs> and I banged my head so hard on the like cement wall because I was like rushing to do something and that's my problem I need to slow down I have to always remind myself but I'm just like always like trying to get there get it done whatever and I'm, like there's not enough hours in the day and then I end up paying the consequences I was like a brick wall so you just like bent over? It's, or I, you just like turn? I like... bent over to grab my backpack against the wall, but I bent over so quick that I nailed the top of my head on this, uh, the wall like came out in this one spot, mm. and it was just so hard. Uh, yeah. I broke a glass in the... Oh, yeah. <laughs> broke a shattered a glass in the kitchen in the hotel room. This came back. Because someone's leaving glass out <laughs> on tables, dude. Well, there's a and blind I go, roommate. Sorry. I go to put... Uh, yeah, I was putting like the water bottles up there and it just shatters right at my feet. <laughs> don't move. Dad, it's like, don't move. Get the dog. Get Kelly's the like, dog. Kelly's like, move. I'm like, let me get the baby. <laughs> yeah, I'm boss over there. Right, boss? She might be sleeping. Yeah. Yeah, dude. Oh, man. Blind, uh. Blind on the move. Blind problems, dude. Hard life we live. This is, uh. Those little mundane things. <laughs> so you just doing all this crazy shit, but you don't you don't see the glasses we break and the. I love that you got stopped by a stop sign, dude. Oh. <laughs> Did you see the sign? Was, your face was as red as that sign. <laughs> oh my! <laughs> it was so gnarly. I, I could see Kelly, though, going out. Next time you run in that sign, you're going to feel it. She's going to, like, t duct tape a pool noodle all around <laughs> <laughs> I would love that. You're good now. That's the best thing about Kelly. Whenever we go to Airbnb, she'll, like, she child she'll, she'll, like move the... Uh, dude, I'm so happy for it. Like, I've 
my shins pay the price from the like coffee tables and stuff just trying to go through the room so like first thing is just move all coffee tables yeah. <laughs> or put like a pillow on the edge of the coffee table so or something like so i know when i hit that the coffee table is like a foot away <laughs> Time we're gonna we out of time here. What time we start? I don't know. Yeah. Uh, we probably started at like eleven thirty, eleven forty. No, we started at twelve. Sorry, people. Justin gets in tonight though. Maybe we'll get a sneak peek of that little of the of the uh, the blind goat. As we call them. Like, yeah. <laughs> two canes, I think. Two canes. No, snowball tip. That's what we're going to call them, snowball tip. Snow <laughs> we got the big tip, dude. Snowball! That thing's sick. It shatters into like a million pieces yeah, when it, it breaks. Yeah, it feels good. It feels good when it shatters. Mine used to just break in half. <clears throat> I've, I broke one into like a lot of pieces one time. I've worn one down where it just... <laughs> So they just wore it down to where it just falls apart, you know? Today I went into like psycho mode on the round rail, on the flat bar. Getting the I, was try I just was so mad I wasn't getting this 50-50. And I was like, I like threw my cane down. I was like, oh, this cane is throwing me off. I felt like you like were just leaning down, like touching it with both hands real quick and then pushing up. Exactly, it. yeah. <laughs> Grabbing that yeah. rail, too. No, 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 no. I'd like tap it with my fingers. <laughs> yeah. You gotta do what you gotta do out there. Dude. Yeah, bro, in the streets. It's not the streets. No, it's the streets, dude. The streets. It's not ramen. <laughs> it's not ramen. We the ramen spot. We took Anthony out of his comfort zone a little bit. Oh, I like ramen, but I was spoiled. You don't like ramen. You I gotta like no egg, dude. You don't like ramen. Listen. It needs to have egg at least to be ramen. Ramen. <laughs> 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 the ramen, the ramen. You, just like, the, you like noodles. Which you, <laughs> you like nice. Noodles. I like good noodles. And that's I like broth. I like pasta though better. Yeah, I agree. I'm Italian. It's just the blood in me, huh? Ah. Uncle, shout out to Uncle Lou. Uncle Louie, shout out to Uncle Lou. Yeah. <sighs> what else we got? What else do we have? Do I leave it out, bro? When you used to drive. Were you a speeder? Fast, dude. Were you really? No, I. Oh uh, no, I would. Uh, I only got in one little like I like bumped somebody at a left hand turn, <laughs> and that was the only like accident I got into. It wasn't even an accident. We pulled over, and the guy was like, "Yeah, at least it wasn't like some crappy car." I was driving my mom's BMW. Oh. I think the first nice car she got. What's the fastest you ever? <clears> but I used to take that thing like that thing was sick. When, after you hit like ninety, it would like sink down. <laughs> It was so sick feeling when you hit that. Dude. Oh my god! You need to be locked in, dude. Oh. Do you have like vivid memories of driving? No, I hate. I hate driving. Really? Especially long distances. You yeah. don't miss it, really. <clears throat> well, I miss being you know, able. Just the freedom. The, the free, yeah, being. Yeah, here. but I don't miss driving. Yeah, I don't like driving. Or I See, I think I would love driving road trips. Like, I think I would love. Yeah, not me, dude. <laughs> Put me on an airplane, dude. Anything over five hours, flying. Oh man, dude! But you miss so much of the country. Oh, you see it on the window, dude. <laughs> and fly over states. Dude, going on these cross-country tours with Kelly, the music, the blind busking tours. I'd be so bored. I would no, be so bored. we went. We've been to some of the craziest uh, <clears throat> little cities, like little mm -hmm. towns. Like we went to Ogallala, Nebraska. I didn't even know yeah, that was a place. Ogallala. Really? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't think I've ever been to Nebraska. <laughs> Dude, it's some of these places on the highway just smells like pure manure. Oh yeah, fire air. Oh man. I uh, yeah. When I drove to Cal, I drove to California with my buddy. Took the northern route, northern route, and like, dude, I drove so little. Like we got to uh, where the hell did we get? Like past. Fuck, we were like a couple hours out. And like I had barely driven, and it was my, it was I had I had the last jaunt to drive. And we stopped to get gas, and I just look at my buddy. I was like, I "Just want to drive this last little bit, dude." <laughs> <laughs> like over, he's like, "Dude, you barely drove, but you took over." Oh my! Because he would pound Red Bull. He's like, every two hours, Red Bull. 
Yeah. Every two. <laughs> that was his sister. My, that was my brother's thing. He used two to have the four pack. You, you know, do two hours of that. The you four pack. Nothing. You've got to get the sugar free though after a while. <laughs> oh man. I get bored. I fall asleep, dude. If I'm driving, I'm out. I call it car collapse. Yeah. Like, especially, I just can't focus on anything. So like. Mm, exactly. I get hype on the music for like the first hour, maybe, yeah. and then I'm out cold in the seat. Like, An hour. <laughs> Kelly's so mad at me by like hour like eight when she's been driving for mad long and I'm just sleeping. Yeah, my girl's a champ. She she, she puts in some miles too. Yeah, I, she doesn't mind driving. She's getting sick of it, but <laughs> she can do she can do those long drives without yeah. getting sleepy. You know, some people gotta let them, but some people don't. I feel like to be. With us, you kind of like you have to be a champ because we're always just going. Yeah, shout out to your then, ex. Shout like, out to your ex girlfriend's dad. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? What happened? You had a girlfriend. Oh this man, like high school. Uh, some, yeah, one of those like Sore high school girlfriends. Dude, dude. What, were you, what are your like first like like you know you think you're like in love or Real something? Yeah, yeah, and I man. <laughs> I was I was in high school, dude. I was like a junior or senior, junior? Right. and the the guys that or the, the guys, the guys oh, what was his <laughs> her dad was like, you know, very serious, very uh, proper. Uh -huh. Like uh, he he didn't, he was not fond of me, and was it he was like a businessman. Like a, yeah, he definitely was a businessman. Um, okay. He was, I think he immigrated from somewhere. So like. He okay. worked really hard, you know, he uh -huh. just worked so hard to get to where he was. And he's very skeptical of the blindness. And that was like, he's, he, he didn't hate me for any other, dislike me for any other reason. Yeah. He's like very traditional. I was blind, dude. Like, well, that was one of the main reasons. Yeah, very traditional. So his, he was like, mm -hmm. how is he going to drive? you around uh, you yeah. can't drive you around how's he gonna take care of a family like all this stuff and i'm in high school and like dude let me figure that like i don't know Jeez. i just remember hearing this stuff in high school and i was like yeah how did you do it when you moved over here you figured it out <laughs> dude like come on damn dude. it was it was hey, heavy that was funny. really heavy that's hard dude that would be that would that would bum me out a lot you should dude. write him a letter too dude <laughs> Write him a letter too. Put it on the list. Him and the gu guidance counselor. Please. I used to have girl like this is another reason I used to try and hide my blindness so much because of things like that. And I used to have girls like I remember even back in the day, there would be like I would be talking to a girl or something, and I would it would be my fault because I wouldn't disclose the blindness right away, mm -hmm. and I would try to hide it as much as possible. And then they find out you're blind, and they're like, "Wait, you're blind." And like yeah. basically like that, and then like just switch it up on you, and like don't even talk to you. Basically, uh, yeah. that was really being a teenager. Like that was really hard, man. Discrimination, man. Discrimination. <laughs> fight for your rights, dude. Fight for your life. ADA, fight for ADA. your right for love. Thank God for the ADA. ADA. American Disability Act, baby. ADA. Whew. Yeah, I never, I've never experienced any of that with any. Uh, Girl, because Heather was like the only, well, I guess my other girl was a little blind, but didn't have anything serious going on. Yeah. But, yeah, that's the thing. I, like that with like a, a parent, another parent. I guess like, I see that's where we <clears throat> differ too. Is like, I had to go through all those like mm -hmm. teenager years and preteen yeah, years. Lot, yeah. Hard enough as it is. You know? Like that, that was really heavy. And especially being in that, like, I, I had terrible vision. I read Braille like my whole life. Mm -hmm. And I was like, still i didn't quote unquote look blind ever mm -hmm. and i was able to navigate really well and had a little bit of vision <laughs> i don't look blind but i had a little bit of vision and like <laughs> i would use that to like try and you know so people would like yeah treat you it, like treat you what you thought was normal yeah. and it's just like when people find out you're blind it's a whole new thing yeah i lived a uh, basic life all the way to crazy the yeah. And then, I, then I got thrown into it. I was like, damn, this sucks. Man. I wonder if That's like the hardest, that was the hardest thing for me. Still is the yeah the way difference in the way people treat you, dude. And, well, I wonder too because I went through those like ch almost like childhood years, you know, like that. The people say at least some people I've talked to that have like lost their vision or like later in life. Like I know this guy who wrote a blog post. It was amazing. It was like my. 21st birthday blind like but he was actually like 30 something you know but he's been blind for 21 years so he talked mm, about that gotcha. 
and it was really cool. Nice, nice title. Yeah, yeah. Sick. It was cool. I'm already reading that. Yeah. <laughs> but what was what he was talking about? Just all that. Stuff. Just all that, like how it, he had to go through that, like that loss, and like almost like. Cause it is like a grieving, right? Like, do you feel like you went through a grieving yeah, process yeah, when you lost your sight? Because it, grieving, right? there's some people that don't go through that and won't accept it and kind of like fast forward real quickly, mm -hmm. you know, and kind of like bury that and it, it comes out in bad ways. But like, you have to go through that. I definitely did that a little bit for sure. Yeah. Fast forward, cause I didn't have time to think about it. But. Well, you had so much cramming like mm -hmm. going on in your life coming to all down at once. Packed it all in like a. You had, a kid, you had a kid, you move, go blind. Yeah, I buried a little bit of that. It's, Still comes out when I flip out, dude, when I hit my head for the 10th time in the day. Oh, that, you think that stems from that? I don't know, yeah, probably. I mean, I don't know. I'm just a hot-blooded dude anyway. Let's so. talk about that, Dan. We want to talk about <laughs> hot-bloodedness? I just get that from my daddy. Yeah. Hot Italian blood. I don't know. He at me when I was a kid. What are you doing? You're doing that wrong. It's crazy. When Give I, me that. When I look back, like, I had a lot of, I wasn't, like, an angry person, but I had a lot of anger in me. And I still do that I deal with. Yeah, I heard you talking to that Floridian to yesterday, dude. <laughs> fuck, go fuck yourself. <laughs> I was like, oh, my God, they're going to fight. They're going to well, fight. Well, like, you don't say that to a woman. That's what no, really yeah. set me off. And I was just like, dude, this guy is out of hand right now. But as soon as he said... Go fuck yourself. The first time, that's when you're like, all right, this yeah. is a waste of time. Yeah. You know what I mean? Just yeah, and it. no, I know. And it, have a good night. When you when you, like you feed into night, that right? energy, it, go, it, it makes you quick. feel so shitty, yeah. and you start to feel like that person, mm -hmm. and it's awful. Mm -hmm. uh, dude, I hate that. Like, it, like have a good it, it's so much more rewarding to be able to be like, yo, I Seattle hope you have a great liberal. night. <laughs> go back to Seattle liberals. What? <laughs> Seattle, like you pick Seattle of all places. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Nothing against Seattle, but we been like on Facebook too much or something. See, I'm from like the other side of the country, Literally bro. Literally the other side. <laughs> like, <laughs> but I don't know what we were just talking about. <laughs> it's late here. It's like 12:45. We gotta wake up at what 8:30? It's only 12:45 right now. Time. Look, yeah, we're like, that's exactly what time it was, just so you guys know. I just guessed that, and it was ex that's how good my clock is. Oh, my shoulders, dude. I'm sore. Dude, my shoulders are so we sore. We gotta get a more propped up uh, I know. version of this. <laughs> what we do with, with uh, doing just, with Justin. Maybe. Yeah, definitely. Get one. Yeah. Come out later. But we're gonna start getting these some mic sound, dude. Dude, yeah, you gotta let us know how this uh, yeah, cause... how this is sounding, cause. Sounds good in these your headphones. It sounds very right good. Right this setup. Yeah. It's, a, it's been, thank you for being patient, everyone. Please excuse this interruption, but I'm here to tell you that we did not get the file that we were hoping for. It got deleted, so excuse the quality, and the quality will be a lot better from this point on. Back to the episode. One love. It's yeah. been with us so far, seriously, because I know it's been a lot. It's been you know, a lot of suspects. You've uh, heard a lot audio. of different sounds and qualities. Zoom with headphones. But Zoom big shout no out to our guys yeah. over there who have been. Uh, they have a link tree. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's because this is the battery's dying. <gasps> oh, and what's his name? Who does? Who did our intro? I got that. Questions. We'll save that for after. Right now. Yo, you have right. a question? Yeah, I'll save it. Right. Right. All right, ready? Yeah. Is it recording? Yeah. Three, two, one. So yeah, everyone, big, big thanks for everyone that's you know been with us this far and and like dealing with all this <laughs> like just hanging in there with all the sound issues and all the quality and everything, mm -hmm. but we. We want to give a huge thanks to our uh, sound mixers and audio engineers over there, uh, Phantom Engine. It's Josh and Jordan. They're also a band. They're brothers, and they've been crushing it, you know, helping us through everything. Me and Dan have made many, many mistakes on the recording side. Really and huge help. Thank and you. Yes, thank you. Thank you. They're the only reason that our <laughs> episodes 
leading up to this have been, you know, even listenable. Usable. <laughs> and, yeah. Yes. Somewhat usable. Yeah. That we didn't have to scrap them. So they're amazing. Check out their music and check out their link tree. We'll yeah. put it in the description. But also, another shout out to Pete Gustin. If you guys... Pete <laughs> if you guys like the intro and outro to the podcast, please let us know what you think of it because he is a professional. We didn't just get that off the internet. He's a mm -hmm. he's a good friend of ours and good friend of the podcast. He'll definitely be on here in the future, and he's a, a, a national uh, award winning voiceover actor yeah. and author and the guy's amazing you've he, heard him in so many like is every movie, movie trailer, trailer and radio stuff. he just got a gig for like oh yeah he just got a gig for like kid rock like he'll be like the guy on the radio coming to you at madison yeah. square garden like get your tickets at live nation he's got that guy like voice. he's He's the man, and he also does a, he has a, actually a YouTube channel that's called The Blind Surfer, mm -hmm. and it's sick. He, like, lives in Cali, does all this surfing stuff, and yeah, he does some skateboarding. Well, crazy. Yeah, he's blind as well, so it's sick, yeah. And uh, it's crazy, the community, when you start, you know, meeting all these people uh -huh. that are doing the similar things, and... But dude, he hooked it Yeah, up. he hooked it up. Like, I thought, you know, it was going to be, like... Dude. We knew it was gonna be good. Yeah, I and when mean, we heard it, we were yeah, we're like this sounds so sick. It was really. And cool. And now we have some audio and mics that can actually match that quality now, hopefully. And exactly. Yeah, so it should all sound good. So thank you, dude. Thank you, Pete. Thank you, Phantom Engine. And you thank you, you guys. It takes a seriously, village. Seriously, for everyone sending in the questions. We got some more questions. We're gonna get mm -hmm. to next episode. Um, please keep sending them in. You can either mail them to Dan at Four Bad Eyes and Anthony at Four Bad Eyes, or uh, Four Bad Eyes dot com. Sorry, yes. and uh, could also DM us. Or also, we'll take questions from the YouTube. So if you go to the YouTube, leave a comment <clears throat> asking question. We'll pick from there as well. Yeah, that hitting that subscribe button means you could ask us anything. Us yes. Too. Thank you for everyone who has. Or don't. Thank you. Yeah, unlike unsubscribe. Yeah, leave a bad comment, <laughs> bad review. <laughs> We love you guys. Let us know where you're from. Let us know where you're listening from. And keep supporting the podcast. Yeah. And, and yeah, you can find us at uh, Dan the Mancina is my personal thing, aside from, of course, our collab, Four Bad Eyes, across the board. ASF Vision across the board. Yeah, keep pushing. One love, baby. Keep pushing. And one love from Four Bad Eyes.